Neil deGrasse Tyson, African-American astronomer and astrophysicist. Born 1958, still alive today, as of February 27th, 2022. Neil deGrasse Tyson is an African-American astronomer and astrophysicist who popularized science with his books and frequent appearances on radio and television. When Tyson was nine years old, his interest in astronomy was sparked by a trip to the Hayden Planetarium at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Tyson received a bachelor's degree in physics from Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts in 1980, and a master's degree in astronomy from the University of Texas at Austin in 1983. He began writing a question and answer column for the University of Texas's popular astronomy, ma astronomy magazine, Stardate. And material from that column later appeared in his books, Merlin's Tour of the Universe, 1989, and Just Visiting This Planet, 1998. Tyson then earned a master's in 1989 and a doctorate in astrophysics, 1991, from Columbia University, New York City. He was a postdoctoral research associate at Princeton University from 1991 to 1994, when he joined the Hayden Planetarium as a staff scientist. His research dealt with problems relating to galactic structure and evolution. He became acting director of the Hayden Planetarium in 1995 and director in 1996. From 1995 to 2005, he wrote monthly essays for Natural History magazine, some of which were collected in Death by Black Hole and Other Cosmic Quandaries 2007, and in 2000 he wrote an autobiography, The Sky is Not the Limit, Adventures of an Urban Astrophysicist. His later books included Astrophysics for People in a Hurry 2017 and Letters from an Astrophysicist 2019. As director of the Hayden Planetarium, Tyson oversaw a complete replacement of the facility, which opened in 2000. The new planetarium's exhibit categorized the solar system's bodies into groups. Pluto was not classified with either the terrestrial or Jovian planets, but was grouped with the Kuiper Belt objects. That decision proved quite controversial, and Tyson was deluged with angry letters. He wrote about the experience in the Pluto Files, The Rise and Fall of America's Favorite Planet, 2009, in which he attributed some of the sentimental attachment to Pluto's planethood to cultural factors such as Pluto being the only planet discovered by an American and having the popular cartoon character of Mickey Mouse's dog named after it. Aside from his many books, Tyson was a well-known popularizer of science on television and radio. He appeared frequently on such talk shows as The Daily Show with Jon Stewart and The Colbert Report. In 2004, he was host of the four-episode television series Origins, which examined the origins of the universe, planets, and life. From 2006 to 2011, he was the host of the television series Nova, Science Now. And beginning in 2009, he was also host of the weekly radio show Star Talk. From 2015, Tyson presided over a television talk show based on his radio program, and he also wrote several companion books, including Cosmic Queries, Star Talk's Guide to Who We Are, How We Got Here, and Where Are We Going, 2021. In 2014, he hosted tel the television series Cosmos, a space-time odyssey, a continuation of of astronomer Carl Sagan's popular series, Cosmos 1980. He also made occasional appearances as himself in films and on television. He voiced an imaginary weasel in the children's animated movie Ice Age Collision Course. In 2018, several women accused Tyson of sexual misconduct. The broadcasters he worked with, National Geographic and Fox, suspended his projects while they investigated the allegations. In 2019, the inquiries were completed and work resumed on his various shows. Later that year, the American Museum of Natural History announced that it had finished its investigation into the claims and that Tyson would continue to serve as director of the Hayden Planetarium. Citations are in the description.